Hello, Broadway and Chicago fans and Cabaret Zazu fans. This is James Harkness from Cabaret Zazu, and today is an Instagram takeover day. So mostly later on towards the evening, I'll be sharing some behind the scenes, some insights into the making of the show, meeting some of the cast members. So please follow along, join in on the day. I'll also be posting some things throughout the day on my account as well as here. So I look forward to seeing you all, and I'll talk to you later. So I wanted to start my Instagram takeover and feature the fantastic Drea Weber, who is our director. So I thought it would be fun to share a little bit of a behind the scenes video of me creating father figure. Drea Weber asked me to sing the song and as daunted as I was by George Michael, I also wanted to figure out how could I perform this song. And one of the cool things that Drea allowed me to do in this show is create what I do in this show. So Father Figure has been such a fun journey of figuring out how to tell this story that I wanted to tell in the show. Yeah. All the fear. All the fear. All the fear. Into freedom. Hey y'all, so I am headed into the theater and uh, I just happened to... Well, hello. Oh. How are you, everybody? <laughs> so there is Nathan, um, I don't remember what his last name is. It's Price. <laughs> and he is one of our fantastic performers at Cabaret Zazu. Okay, well that got interrupted, <laughs> but I think I'm going to post it anyway. So I am here at the Cambria Hotel in downtown Chicago, and this is where Cabaret Zazu is. So, they are setting up right now, so I'm gonna take you inside. So these are our doors. This is our security. <laughs> and I'm good today, how are you doing? And this is one of the fun things, we have our red carpet. And this is one of our greeters. Say hello to the people. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we have people that help greet people when they come into the show. It's a really lovely experience, and I'm gonna take you up in the elevator in the next video. There's just really so much to see when you come in here. Um, little plug, this is everybody that is in the show. We have our wonderful Frank Ferrante. We have Mr. Cornelius Atkinson, who is one of our flyers. The one and only Liv Warfield. We have Isis, who does so many things in the show, from roller skating, hand to trap. It's a really amazing thing what she does in the show. I'm not sure who that person is. Um, we have Nathan Price. Ulzi, who is our contortionist and one of the sweetest people. And her husband, Victor Key. This is a statue. <laughs> And this is Heather. She is one of our servers here, but our servers do so much more than just serving. So you have, um, I'm gonna do another quick little video, so you, I'm gonna ask her some questions. So Heather. Yes. <laughs> what is it like working here at Cabaret Zazu? Um, it is it's exhilarating, actually. Um, it's so much different than any other serving or bartending job that I've ever had. Um, and it's probably also like, this is the best, like most family-like environment that I've ever been in as well. Um, it's super fun, it's super challenging, um, and I look forward to coming to work every day. <laughs> yeah, so one of the things, two of the things that Heather does in this show besides mm -hmm. serving is... Singing and dancing. <laughs> That's what you get when you come to Cabaret Zazu. It's a full experience. Okay. All right, next video coming up. So here we are backstage. Now here is my spot where all of my stuff is. There's my mic and my other mic. My letter to Forte. Well, it's not my letter to Forte, but you have to come see the show and see what it's all about. And just the other things that I use in the show. And I spent a bit of time there. So here's another thing that is backstage. Um, we have our seating chart so we can see where things are. This is where we can sometimes see, they'll tell us where VIPs may be sitting or birthday parties, anniversary parties, things of that nature. 
So here we are inside of the tent with all of our servers that are getting everything ready for the show tonight. So look at how beautiful this is. This is where I get to stand, a lot of us do. Center inside of the lift. So it's quite, quite a cool place to work at. So um, actually I gotta go backstage and get ready. There's plenty for purchase, including our signature cabarets at Zoo Hats. Hello, hello, this is our merchandise. It's really kind of beautiful. I'm gonna step back here so you guys can get a closer look. We don't have playbills here, people. We have jewelry. And feathers. <laughs> yeah, more to come. Okay, so I want you guys to meet someone. So there's one of our musicians in the show who plays all of our woodwinds and he also plays keyboards. His name is John Nagus. But here's the cool thing about John. John has a history. Come over here, John. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? This is for Broadway in Chicago, the Instagram takeover. So John has a history in theater. And he went to school with someone really freaking awesome who was a legend in the musical theater industry. Do you want to go ahead and say who that is? B.B. Newworth. The one and the only B.B. Newworth. They went to school together. And just say a little bit about you. Well, B.B. Well, and I were in lots of shows together. Yeah. Music man and a uh, whole bunch of other things. Um, and we grew up in Princeton, New Jersey, where there was a thriving theater and music community. And uh, we had a great time. So I'm keeping this on because we are at that time of year where it's cold and flu season and to protect myself and our guests. Until I have to do the show, I keep this on. But what I wanted to show you is the tent. And the best way to see the tent because of, of how big it is, is to see the reflection in the mirror. But now I would swoop around. So here, on the 14th floor in the Cambria Suite, they built a circus tent inside. So once you get here, it really is like no other experience that you have ever had. These are actual stained glass windows that have been built. It is truly one of the most beautiful things that I have ever seen. So, here we are, Cabaret Zazu. In relation to that, we also have these flower petals that can be put on the table for people who, A, don't want to be bothered at all, they just want to watch the show. They have limited interaction, animation only. So it's a really, really fun experience because it truly is an immersive experience here at Cabaret Zazu. So, Mr. Nagus. <laughs> yes, okay, yes. <laughs> Um, when did you decide that this is what you wanted to do? Because we spoke yesterday, yes. and you said that you made a decision between performing on stage and playing the saxophone. Right. So why and when? Pretty much uh, the end of high school, I was doing both theater and uh, uh, all sorts of different kinds of music projects, and uh, I decided... Uh, I felt like I had to make a decision whether I was going to do, you know, theater, you know, acting, that whole kind of thing, or play saxophone. I basically flipped a coin, and saxophone won. <laughs> That's a really fantastic story. So these are just a little tidbits about the people that make up this incredible family that we have here at Cabaret Zazu. On to the next, because you hear the drums, so I'm going to go mess with our drummer right now. <laughs> Bells will... Up a short and not so narrow stairway. 
and right into our drum kit. <laughs> this is Jose. He plays drums in our show, obviously, because those are drums that are right there. Um, and I wanted to just, again, I'm trying to introduce you guys to some of the people that are here in the show. So, Jose! How you doing, everybody? Good. So this is for Broadway in Chicago on the little Instagram takeover that I'm doing. Um, so where do you hail from originally? Uh, born in Venezuela and uh, grew up in the States. Awesome. Miami, all over, really. Yeah. And how did you come to Chicago? Oh, it's the opportunity. Of Zanzani opened up and I had a relationship with Theatre Zanzani. And uh, I said, hey, you guys need a drama. Come on over. And one of the cool things about Jose is he's also done circus drumming, which is very different than regular drumming. And I'm going to do So, Jose, what is the difference um, yes. between regular drumming for you and circus drumming? Well, basically in circus drumming and what, a lot of what we do here is we have to catch movement. So it's a little bit like the Foley uh, thing where you have to make the sound effect for the movement. So... It, it enhances the in, show a in bit. In movies and television. That's oh, yeah, right, yeah. And so whenever whenever there's, uh, you know, something gets thrown, thrown up in the air, you follow it with a roll, and then you catch it, hit a cymbal. So that's basically, you have to catch movement as well as playing the music. So Why don't we fun. do a little roll for these people so they can understand what you're talking about? You know, just like whenever somebody throws, like, a pin up in the air, and you just go... And they catch it. Basically. Basic... Those Circus things that you, you've heard those sounds before, but it's actually yeah. very cool. Yeah. It's not the best camera work ever, but it's actually really cool to hear it from the mouth of yeah. an, a professional, amazing. So you guys, I just ran into a very occupied human being right now. This is Darek, who is, tell us your, tell people your job. Here, let's go over here. Yes. Turn Wait. around. Oh, I was like, what's the camera? Lighting, lighting. Hi. Uh, my name is Dark. I'm the stage manager at Cabaret Zazu. Yeah. I call all light, sound, uh, lift cues. I basically make sure the show runs as it should. With this big book yes. with all of the cues and things written in. All of in. the cues, all of the contingencies in case somebody's like, I'm sick. I broke my ankle. I can't do the show tonight. <laughs> so she helps keep us saved. It's so great. And she's a wonderful human being to work with. So Likewise. Yay! Say goodbye to uh, Broadway in Chicago. Bye, Broadway in Chicago! <laughs> Happy takeover! Woo! So I thought it would be fun for you guys to meet Frank Ferrante. <laughs> so I think the best way for you to meet Frank Ferrante <laughs> is to meet Frank Ferrante. Frank! Yes? How are you today? Notice how great he is because his mouth doesn't ever move. Which is uh, not the case in life. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our, this is the real Frank Ferrante, who is remarkably similar to... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And Liv is tapping out. So before I fully start getting ready, I want to introduce you guys to Ulzi, who is our contortionist in the show. And you're flexible if you could. <laughs> <laughs> and well, she is at this at this moment in time. Before the show, she helps coach Liv to get her flexibility up for the hard work that Liv does in this show. So, um, but Ulzi, tell people where you are from. Okay. I'm from Mongolia, and I started contorting at the age of seven. And I attended Mongolian Sukh school, and at the nine years old, Sukh Tisle came to audition, and I age of 11 I was on the stage of Strict to Soleil. It's amazing. Um, and wait, I'm going to do a separate video because I don't want this one to be too long as she goes back to work. Along with the amazing Ulzi, we also have Mr. Victor Key. And Victor at this moment is putting his, prepping his makeup for the show. Hey Victor, do you mind if I come in? Sure, come in. So, 
my question, which I've actually never asked you, is how long does it take for you to get your makeup set for the show? Uh, I sent two stages. First stage is for the character, which is about half an hour max. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, then I, after um, half of the show, I come here and I'm redoing the makeup for the act. Which for the is act. Another half an hour. Okay. And the act Sometimes. takes how much more of... Oh, it takes all over here, back, around here, the chest, right. the shoulders. Because it has to blend in with the, yeah, with with the, the unitard, costume, yeah. with the costume. So far away, you can see it. Right. No costume. <laughs> the magic of the, the magic of theaters, the things that is like the things that theater the performers. Say, the <laughs> <laughs> but also the things that theater performers do, um, as circ performers do when they have to create an entire character that takes over their whole body, and so and some people have to do much more severe makeup. But I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of the process of Victor Key. Yeah, the most important is powder, base, and powder. And then the rest just comes on top. Yay! And that's all the stuff, y'all. All of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you, Victor. Here's something I'm going to tell you about this Instagram takeover. It requires time management. <laughs> and I am just now getting ready for the show and putting the things on that I need to put on for the show. And uh, I'm going to try and do this while I'm talking, which is going to be a little bit crazy. Um, I don't usually do a lot to myself uh, for the show, but because it is a show, it's always fun to have a little bit of drama added to your face. And the way that I generally do that is just a little bit of eyeliner. Um, I do my eyes. I add a little bit to make this sharper because my hair doesn't grow in very well here. <laughs> so I just add that in. Um, but anyway, time management, which means I have to go. But enjoy. I'm trying to, I will try and get some stuff during the show as well. Bye. getting ready for the show. So here's something about Cabaret Zazu that I really love, is that there is glamour here in this show. This is Aiden, y'all. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Aiden. <laughs> so how long have you, are you a Chicago native? No, I'm from Missouri. Okay. Oh, not a boo. So this is for Broadway in Chicago. I'm doing the Instagram takeover. God, well, hello. Yeah, yeah. So I love this show because so many, there's so much that is represented in this show. How do you feel about working here? Um, I love it. I feel like I get to actually like, be my whole self. I get to accessorize the way I want to. Look, because how many shows have you been in where people get to serve? Uh oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You got 10 seconds. Oh, God. Okay, let's do it. Do they get to serve this? <laughs> so, I just got through doing a duet that I do, which is a really fun thing to say. Usually, when you're a singer, uh, you do a duet with um, another singer. In this case, I get to do a duet with Cornelius Atkinson, who is currently out here doing self-therapy after the number that he does because it requires so much effort from him, the aerial work that he does after he's done with the show. But I'm just filming him because he's got the body. Um, <laughs> but after he's done, he has to come here and check himself out. So how are you feeling, Corn? I'm, I'm good. It was a good run. Um, sorry, excuse my nipples. You're um, your guy. It's okay. It's okay. Um, You'll yeah, get more followers. Normally, James gives me a uh, massage after this, but it's hands for me. So. It's not. It's not. So, the lighting isn't super great over there right now, but this is where our servers do a lot of their work. And these are desserts. Ooh. Oh, we said hello to Aiden already. That is Courtney. <laughs> 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 
These are the amazing people that work back here and keep our house running. That's Dan who is running, <laughs> literally. That was good timing, right? So at this point in the show, I have to go up on stage, which is about five minutes to curtain, to do what is called animation. And uh, <laughs> as I'm running a little bit behind today because of uh, trying to put all this together, um, but what animation is, is the performers, the circus performers, they do it in every show. If you've ever seen the circus show, uh, when you see the artists and stuff that are roaming around and doing things with the audience, that is animation, which helps get you in the mood for the show. And in many cases, like in this show, it also sets up a premise for the storytelling within the show. Um, so I am getting ready to head out. I have about one minute. This is one of our other stage managers. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> this is for Brock. Yeah. Um, so I'm getting ready to head out through these doors. Out there. Hey y'all, so we're on a 10 minute hold. Uh, was probably more like uh, seven minutes now. Uh, but while we're doing that, I wanted to talk about the fact that I'm, as I'm doing my next change, that the words Broadway and Chicago are actually very familiar to me because I have been here twice with two touring companies from Broadway shows. One Broadway show that I was a part of and one show that was supposed to go to Broadway and didn't quite make it. Uh, that first show that I was with was Aida. Uh, and I think 2002, and we were at the Palace Theater. And that was my first Broadway show and my first uh, national tour. And then I was with a production of Dream Girls that was here in, I want to say, 2010-ish, uh, or 2011. And uh, I did that. So I love being back here in Chicago now with Cabaret Zazu, which is a whole different beast. But I love it so, so very much. So I'm happy to be back in Chicago. You know, since we got cut off earlier... I'm actually already in preparation for tomorrow's show. I'm a very serious actor, and so what I do over the course of the evening is mostly, I actually sleep here in this chair, and I kind of use that 24-hour period to get back into character before the next day of shows. So you're actually disturbing what is a very kind of crucial artistic process, um, and you really pulled me out of it, you know? So uh, what, what were you saying? Not much. Okay. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nathan who <laughs> does roller skates in the show with his longtime friend, Isis. Um, I'm going to do a separate video because I want you guys to briefly talk about how you met and how you formed this really fantastic team that you have. Good night, all you Broadway and Chicago fans. I really, truly hope that you had a wonderful time with us tonight here at Cabaret Zazu. Bye-bye. <laughs> but actually, in all seriousness, um, I just learned some things today about the origin of all of the things that we now associate with witches. And I refuse now to make fun of that and do the voices and things anymore because it was very interesting to learn that. So from me, I say good night. Thank you guys so very, very much. I had a ball today. Take care, Broadway in Chicago. Mwah. So this is what I look like after the show. It's not all glamorous, people. <laughs> not at all. But this is something else. I, I thought I was done with the takeover, but I'm not. We also get fed. The salmon is gone because I waited too long. Uh, that almost, also kind of rhyme. They feed us here at Cabaret Zazu. Once we're done with the show, we get one meal per show that we do. And uh, so I mean, I have to go downstairs and get my little stuff together so that I can eat. Uh, anyway, just one more thing about being here at Cabaret Zazu. I'm going to start with Isis because I don't really trust you very it's much bad. okay wonderful hello isis hi jay so we only we have a minute so we're at 10 seconds so how did you meet him i met him in a dark back alley i'm joking <laughs> it was very dark broadway in chicago you know all about the alleys anyway keep going <laughs> we met at uni um we went to circus school when we were 18 and the summer before starting, we happen to be in the same audition. And, go. 
Nathan. And you know, sometimes you just you see someone from across the room, and then we both reach for the same piece of chalk, and our hands touched. And I was like, "Please don't touch me." Uh, and then, you know, we started doing acrobatics together, and that was in 2008. And here we are this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it.